welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynette Sine. If you are just landing here, welcome. This channel is all about good vibes, so if you're not on that frequency, you can go ahead and turn around and leave, because <laughs> that's only what you'll find over here. Um, this is my friend Michaela. Hi, guys. She's actually an Ipsy creator as well. We both are. And so we get a glam bag every month, if you don't know, and we get to do makeup looks. So we decided to do it together, and we wanted to do something kind of like magical festival vibe. So this is what we came up with. And I can't wait for you guys to see how it, you know, unfolds. We talked about a lot of good stuff. Yeah, we, we really went off. <laughs> really? <laughs> so this is gonna be a good time for you guys. But snuggle up, you're gonna maybe want to get some like lavender moon tea and really snuggle up and listen because this is a long one. It's a doozy. But there's lots of good stuff in it. So enjoy. And let's go ahead and get right into let's it. Let's do it. So what skin did you get? I got a nourishing mask, so I'm gonna start applying that. Is that a mask? No, I have a cleanser. Okay. Cleanse my face. Wait, are there we rolling? Go. Yeah. Oh. We are rolling. <gasps> Michaela, I've literally done probably like 40 glam bags. I was trying to calculate how many I've done, but I'm really bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> It's that literally makes, the makes, amount of months that I've lived here, and I can't that makes, figure that much out. That makes out. two of us. <laughs> mm, this smells really good. This Wait, smell really this. Good. That smells really good. Right? That's a cleanser? Yeah, and I need water to cleanse my face with. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just like rubbing it on just dry put, skin. Rub it on, and then I'll have to go wash my face off with this mask, so then we can do it together. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a fun thing, because it's like a lottery. You don't know what you're going to get when you get the glam bag, so you're like, all right, I'm just going to create a look out of this whatever gets... It actually sense. sparks my creativity, though. Me too. I feel the same way. Because then I'm like, okay, I wouldn't have used green eyeshadow today, but how are we going to do this? Oh, I'm obsessed with this smell. This is kind of like minty. But I like masks. I love any sort of mask. My skin needs it. Guys, you're seeing like a 10-year age difference on camera right now. Not 10 years. Close. Really? Close. Close. How old are you? I'm 24. Yeah, and I'm 32. <laughs> feeling pretty good right how now. How do you, how? I'm feeling pretty good. Meaning I'm saying like I, because my mom just has really good skin and I've never gotten any work done, ever. I don't believe in it. You've gotten less work than I've gotten. <laughs> I, I've i never had Botox. You just get the fillers in your lips. I, I've had it done. I haven't gotten it done in two years. <laughs> really? So like they're gone now. Yeah, your yeah. lips look like they're just naturally big. Yeah. You have the luscious lips. You're gifted. God gifted you with those luscious lips. Um, Cause yeah, I could tell when they're like a little bit more, but they, this looks nice. Yeah, this is a good size. I was thinking about getting them done again, but no, I don't, don't think do I'm it. Do. When everyone yeah. else yins, Michaela, you have to yang. That is naturally how I live. I know, cause you're an Aquarius. So Michaela and I figured out right when she started the Ipsy program that we we're both Aquarians, and those are very rare to come by. So we have very similar personality types, cause we're just very chill about everything. Yeah, just kind of, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of just like. Almost like you act like you don't care about anything, but you actually do care. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a really weird thing being an Aquarius. I, I really almost like identify so much with it. Yeah, that's just me. Well, as soon as I met her, though, I was like, okay, we're going to get along just fine. Because it's, it's like ego's done. We're just like talking as friends. Yep. Um, it's helpful, though, that I'm eight years older, too. So I've gotten over the whole competitiveness <laughs> of this whole industry. So I'm like, y'all are just like my little sisters. I'm, like, I'm not a competitive person anyway. Yeah. I mean, genuinely, I'm not. So, like, I feel like that helped the vibe. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, you're not competitive. I'm not. I'm naturally not a competitive person. I'm like, yes. you want to win, go for it. I don't care. Yeah, you're like, I don't want to try that hard. <laughs> yes, yes, that's me. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm yeah. like, okay, go. You go, girl. I'll be your cheerleader, and I'm over here like, Yeah, me too. I'm like, out. enjoy, peace out, have fun. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this on for about 10 minutes. We're going to rinse, go wash our faces, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so now we are all rinsed off. You got a moisturizer? Yeah, I have a moisturizer. Are you going to moisturize with your Cheeto fingers? Um, <laughs> now you just threw me under the bus. <laughs> yeah, I have Cheetos here, guys. It's like a, you know, it's a guilty pleasure. And then I also have my La Croix. I have so many snacks, actually, right here. Because our lunch is on the way. But there's, you know, snacks at Ipsy, so I get excited. Wait a second. <laughs> Oh, there's. Oh my god, I thought it this was gonna actually like, smells so good. That yeah, I, I use this all the, the time actually, stuff. and it is really, really nice. This is the Pure Lease um, Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. It smells really good. 
I'm just adding a serum to my face and then I'm gonna add, um, I got an eye cream in my glam bag and this hydrating primer. But my skin is really dry in my 30s, so I have to load up for sure and add in a bunch of moisture so my makeup just slides on. Yeah, I like to have a obscene amount of moisture on my face yeah. before I go in. Before I go in. <laughs> okay, so you've been in LA for a couple years. What are you feeling? What's like most exciting? I think like dream a little with me. <laughs> what if you had like money as no object, you were able to just soar and do whatever you wanted to do, what would that look like? I think that if I had my own, like a lot of money, like like all the money in the world, <laughs> Okay. I would probably make movies, honestly. Ooh, okay. Because my mind is literally never, ever sleeping. Okay. I mean, so, like, my body is sleeping sure, all the time. Sure, That's <laughs> dope. So you're, like, at work when you're dreaming. Like yeah, well, my my mind is, like, fantasizing all the time about, like, random, like, I'll see one little thing and I'm like, ooh, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it just, like, goes off in my head. Good. I love to hear that. But it's like, always really short-lived. Do you know what I mean? Well, like, I have an we're idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it all goes back to the I've Aquarian. accepted it. Once I accepted and I understood that I was an air element sign and that I'm just literally the most free spirit, I'm like, dee 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 dee. Yeah. Like, whimsical. Exactly. I want to wake up and do this today. That's, that's 100% me. Like, I cannot make plans because as soon as I make a plan, when it actually comes around to do that thing, I'm like, well, I don't feel like doing that right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. I'm telling you. Once you start learning your your sign and just like who you are and what your personality is um, better with, um, you can start look at. But you sourced this career. I don't know how. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Because I don't actually care about it as much as most people. <laughs> I'm not attached to it as much, so it's fun for me because I'm having a blast over here. <laughs> I'm like, dude, like, this is a fun little project, like, doing the YouTube thing, but we're also working, like, uh, so you just got to keep it interesting. Yeah. There's always so. a lot going on. That, like, and you have to keep some things under wraps. Yeah. You can't Everyone just, like, loves a good mystery. You know what I mean? So true. I love a mystery. See? I do. Honestly, like, the quiet people are the people that, like, really intrigue me. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then I, I'm like, I need to be a quiet person. You are. I want to intrigue people. And then I'm literally not at all. Yeah, you are. What? Meaning, I think you're not, like, you're, because you're a mystery for sure. Because it's like, well, what is she actually up to? You think I'm a mystery? Well, but I don't really pay attention to a lot of people's socials. <laughs> you're like, I don't pay I, attention to you. <laughs> no, what I don't pay attention to a lot of people. That's no, just I don't honest. either. It's really hard for me to actually. I think it's actually really unhealthy too. I agree. But pay attention to us. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> exactly. no, because we're up to some fun stuff. So I'm like, it's the it's the ones that are kind of like not as attached to it that you want to like pay attention to. Because I completely agree. Because the people who aren't on that much, they're the ones. Stirring up the good stuff. Well, we're actually living our lives, too. So we're a balanced vessel. Because, like, the people that are just online and But, like, just have you ever realized experience? how much time it takes to, like, take an Instagram post of, like, something so simple? And it's like, how much time are you spending a day doing that just, just getting Instagram posts of, like, a photo of something? Like, a photo of your breakfast. It's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's exactly... <laughs> I'm no, like, exactly. I'm sorry, I don't want to wait. I just want to eat my breakfast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm literally with you 100%. And that's why a lot of people in this industry don't really get me. Because I'm off, like, doing, like, did you see my story yesterday? Like, we always end up in crazy, because Corey and I are both whimsical. So we're both just, like, taking life. We realize that we're the stars in our own movie. And we're just, like, letting flow happen. And, like, we go where we're invited. So people are like, hey, come here today. And we're like, Okay. And we just, like, go and check it out. So we've met pretty crazy people and have had a lot of fun along the way. Um, but that's what the city is. That's why I want to encourage you. Like, come. You need to come hang out at our house. Like, we have a dope tribe of people in L.A. that are all, like, working on some of the biggest films in the industry. Like, trust me. And this is what I mean. Like, we're all trying to Avenger level change the paradigm of, like, media. And so we're, we have slates of films. We're raising a ton of capital. Like, it's, we have to be our own platform. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I will say, if there's anything to learn from you, it's your openness. Mm. I think you're, like, the most open person 
I've ever met. Aww. And I'm, I like, I really, I'm not that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm hey. not open and I want to be that way, but I just, I have a lot of, I guess, like fear. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'll take it. But I will say, I want to affirm you in this, that you are a lot younger. So I'm saying true. it's just true that like experience is helpful. So I've been through a lot. I'm married, so that's helpful because I'm, like, not one person anymore. Right, yeah. It's, like, two minds. So it's, like, four brains because you have your left brain and your right brain. So technically we have two creative brains, two critical, like, more business-sided brains. So we're – it's a stronger force. So I've learned so much from marriage to where, um, I mean, you're a force. Uh, and so I want to say that when I was your age, I was not this either. I was not open. I was, like, very – um, I was the observer in the room. So I was kind of just like right, watching. That's how I am. I I'm like, such an observer. Mm. I've gotten over that because I realize that you can manifest exactly that too in your life. So if you're like worried that people aren't going to be trustworthy, chances are they are not going to be trustworthy because you're manifesting that. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I'm so. telling you, don't ever tip to you guys. Don't manifest a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I'm yeah. telling you, my biggest fear of my entire life was to have a stalker. I don't have a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, really. So see what I mean? So if you just learn to trust the process, you'll have, like, friends that are, like, sister friends. But it took me a long time to find that because I didn't trust myself. So then I was like, oh, well, how am I showing up for these friends? So then if you're, like, a sister-like friend, then you're going to start sourcing more of those friends. And then it's a lot more fun because then you've got, like, a group of people. But it's hard to find in LA. Yeah, I'm it's such a lone wolf. It's taken seven years. Seven you years. have, like, so many people, and I'm always just like, just me by myself. <laughs> and your roomie. But Yeah, but she has, like, her own thing going now. So oh, does it's she? really just me. Because I, I, I was in a relationship the entire time. Like, as soon as I moved here, I got into a relationship. And then that took all of my energy. Mm. And then after that, I was focusing on my roommate because she was getting out of relationship the same time I was. Gotcha. And then now she's back in a relationship, and it's kind of just me again, okay. you know? Yeah. So I'm trying to find my place. Well, um, you are always welcome in our tribe i'm telling you like and especially now that i saw that you were doing some like acting have you shown that short film yet or no which short film the short film that you did with parker oh no it can't be shown yet okay because well. he is yeah it can't be shown because it's being submitted into film film festivals. film festivals yeah so i guess like i don't really know how it works honestly but i guess like you can't show it if it's gonna be <laughs> the process trust it um, okay, well, then I'll just brag about Michaela because she's not allowed to talk about it, but I can say from what I saw, she actually is exercising not only her modeling skills, but her acting skills, and she's really great on camera, so I'm like, see, you're smart, because you're branching out and, like, being free, this is going to serve your career very well by being open that way. Yeah, career-wise, I'm definitely open. I'll try anything. I mean, you know. I have morals, <laughs> so not anything. But I mean, there's a. I'm open to a lot, and I like to learn. I really like to learn a lot in this industry, and yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna sell my soul. That's yes, good girl. Morals good are girl. huge. I mean, that's another Aquarian thing. Nonconformist. Huge, huge. and yeah. caring so much about, like, um, I don't know the proper way to phrase this. Like caring so much about humanitarianism. Yep. 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 It's cheesy, but it's true. As no, it an Aquarian, is true. It is true. It's just like I'm not trying to screw anybody over, um, including your your main, i.e., yourself too. Well, yeah, of course. Well, and it's good to hear that because sometimes in this industry, it's true. People are so desperate that they will do whatever they can to get there. And yeah, I'm not desperate. Me either. Let me tell you something. As someone who moved here not that long ago, I did not understand people talk about it all the time but it's so hard to understand from an outsider of how real it actually is of how people really want to suck everything yep. out of you yep. and just use you so quickly and just forget about you and I never realized it until honestly like not that many months ago that I really started seeing it and just being mm. like wow I cannot be a part of this it's so difficult to just like I had to remove myself because it's like I can't be in this yep that was me welcome 
I, yeah, it was a learning. I can't even imagine, to be honest, to being in your, like, your age and having to deal with, like, learning all this stuff. Well, I guess I was. So I was your age when I moved out here to L.A., so it's been seven years for me in L.A. But seven years of learning and having to find out, like, as a feminine, you know, more of a feminine woman in business, too, um, how to speak in business meetings and how to get what you really want and how to play big and strong and not play small. That was very hard for me because I didn't go to college. Me either. Well, I dropped out. <laughs> I did too. I went. I, I dropped I out. I arrived. I arrived. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> I arrived and then I like literally was like in the basic level math class and I was like, I'm never going to be able to do that. Me too. It was math. Well, I, I was a chemistry major, so it's all math. And I was like, I failed algebra in high school. And you went into that thinking that... Well, yeah. I wanted to study black holes, which did you see that the first picture of a black hole was released today? It's really like cool. Like a portal? It's like, it looks like an orange, like, light, and then just, like, blackness. I need to read into it. I just looked at the photo. Like, they yeah. found it in space? Yeah. Let's go. It's so we cool, right? There. I know. Let's travel, like, um, we have to that go movie. There. What's that movie? We have to go. That sounds epic. Um, this is what I'm saying, guys. It sounds like we're crazy. Like, most beauty influencers would not talk about this. We'll put it that way. I know. I have such a hard time ever calling myself an influencer, though. I don't, I don't like either. to influence people. Well, all. I do. I do like to influence people, but only towards the light. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't want to influence. I like to help people make decisions, but I don't want to make the decision for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to put that. I like that. But I love making decisions. <laughs> I like being in control. I'm such a control freak. Yeah. That, well, that's that was the shedding process for me. The letting go and realizing that I don't have control was like. <laughs> Like, I was, like, ascending, ascending, ascending. But in order to, like, fully let go and let death to self happen in the ego, it feels like death. And yeah. I was, like, depressed and, like, I feel feeling, like, that's like where I'm at right now. But I was feeling, like, even, like, suicidal because it was death to self. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I totally know what you mean. I, I genuinely, like, like, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Wow. I did bring my oracle cards. I'm just saying. <laughs> I can do a reading for you. Yeah, can you? Yeah. I brought them. I brought my cards because I'm like the guy. Guys, there's so much more. There's so much more. There's so much more. This highlighter is so pretty. Oh, we do the same highlighter. Being, yep, this is Rodeo Drive. And look what I brought. <laughs> we have three of them. Sitting but we right came here. in our glam bag. So this is one of my favorite highlighters. This is that. one of mine too, actually. Although you'll never really catch me on Rodeo Drive. That's not really where. I went there when I visited LA for the first time. I think that was the only time I've ever went. Um, okay, so you want to get into film. Okay, good. That's good to know. I like it. Um, okay, so, and you're getting into modeling. Potentially. Well, you're doing it. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, I, <laughs> I kind like of like always know. forget what I'm doing in life. Use that as a vehicle, baby. Hey, you've got, you're only young once, and if God gifted you with this vessel in this dimension, take it all the way. I say, might as well. You know, if yeah. you come back in your next life and you're like not the same, then that you won't have that experience. So take it. True. But just remember who you are. You know what I mean? Because that's where it happens is then people start forgetting and they're getting lost. But you're, I'm not worried about you because you're, it's already in the stars. It was already in the stars, like, with your birth sign that you would remain, like, oh, a I know, channel, I know. You know? I'm literally, like, I, people mm. always made fun of me in high school because I was the least likely to ever fall into peer pressure. Mm. Because I'm that just was, like, no, like, I don't want to do that. Y'all want to go do that? Fine. Like, I'm going to stay home. That and, like, that makes seriously... me so lame. I don't even care. We probably have such similar high school experiences. We probably do. This I got in my glam bag. It's Moroccan Magic. This lip balm. This like peppermint lip balm. So I'm gonna put that on before I put my lip color, so that that way it's like moisturizing my lips. So speaking of magic, oh my gosh, Laura Sanchez. She came out with her own little line, and it has a crystal ball. You guys, look at. <laughs> so I think this Coachella, this whole festival season, is really bringing out this very magic side of people. So you can see this resurgence of the crystals, and everyone's feeling. Um, like they want a good mystery. I'm gonna use this primer. I'm gonna create like a look I actually wore for my birthday party. 
um, that I loved, but I, of course, never had gotten it on camera, so I'm gonna do the exact same look. And I would wear this to a festival for sure, because um, it's very magical. Yeah, I'm kind of going for, like, if, if Michaela was to go to a festival, what would she do? There you go. This is what I'm doing. And like this outfit that I have on today, I'm kind of feeling because I'm, I feel like I'm actually at a festival. Good. You can't fully see the full thing, but I feel like I'm really <laughs> in a festival right now. Good. Okay, so this is the rose gold woman. So I use that nude bodysuit as like the transition shade, and then I'm going in with this um, rose, like rose gold woman. Then I'm gonna use this outside the lines glitter from the ColourPop, and it's in this giveaway that we're giving. So this glitter comes with a ton of stuff in this big giveaway. So you guys will have the chance to get all these different pots. She has like 17 different pots sitting right here. So many laid and out. And all of them are in that giveaway. So you guys are gonna love these. So I've been, as a magician's daughter, I had to really start thinking about my own act and my own sort of like character. So we'll just put it to you guys this way. You heard it here first. Zagana is coming back. She is in full force. you may be able to see her more in person than you would be able to see her um, online. Ooh. I know. See? <laughs> you intrigued <laughs> me on that one. I'm like, because I need a visceral audience. I can't be doing this. I want to, like, hug y'all. I want to just, like, have you in this room so we can talk and actually see each other's eyes. So I get very, um, you know, I grew up on stage. I grew up doing live performance. So my husband and I have been working on a music magic act. Because I was like, we got to mix the two art forms. So he is going to be doing the music. And I do sing on a couple of his tracks, but we've been building an act for about two years. So the circus, baby. I was destined for the circus. That's really pretty. Is it a gloss or? It's like a. Oh, I have that. It's a metallic one. High pigment pearl lip gloss. And the shade is Maldives. 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 Uh, Clearly none of us have been there. I've got to, of course, put on my magical little dealy. so freaking cute. Thank you. These are actually really good for festivals because it helps you catch all your sweat too. All right, you guys, so this was so much fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. We should have done this a long time ago. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course, this was so much And I want to have her on my podcast too, so get get um, excited for that. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to know more about your story so we can go in deep on that trip. Yeah, that'll be fun. I, I'm actually really excited, genuinely. Good, good, good. You're going to love it. <laughs> um, also, before I go, I did want to give you a little gift on camera from us to you. Oh my God, thank you. So Corey and I, I wanted to actually do this on camera because I want to get an actual reaction. So this is actually launching this summer. It's our first ever piece of merch, or piece, you know, it's like our first ever merchandise and it's a gender fluid fragrance line. Ooh. I know. Wait, didn't I smell this on you? Mm -hmm. And I, I complimented it because it smells so good. Yeah. Smell guys. I know, it smells so good, huh? Well, what, do you, what do you say it smells like? I'm really bad at that. But do you like it? Like, it does it? What no, does it genuinely, feel? like, to me, it smells almost like cinnamony. Mmm. It smells like kind of spicy. Am I, am I wrong? No. <laughs> yeah, like, like and I'll smell it. See, after it's been it. on me for a couple hours. It smells completely different on you. Yeah, well, because it has to settle. So it's like, we call it the magic aphrodisiac. Put it so on it's my wrist. actually, yeah, put it on your wrist. It's all 100% essential oil. Um, so we're launching this this summer. We're very excited about it. Um, it's uh, our brand called the Boho Bandits. So I wanted to gift Michaela. This is like our first ever SKUs, um, but really excited. So make sure to go follow the Boho Bandits on Instagram. Um, but it's gonna be a whole gender fluid actual clothing line for kind of like desert dwellers. Look forward to that. Um, we're really, really excited. Um, but yeah, so now you're now you've been initiated okay you guys so really big news included in this video is a giveaway so i'm not only going to give away one of the fragrances i just gifted michaela but also <laughs> drum roll Whoa! Please. this whole collection it's called the flying colors collection from ColourPop. there is so much festival makeup in here you can use these glitters for your yeah we use them hair. you can do crazy stuff i have the glitter on my eyes right now you use some of the glitter too yep. right i went over Yep, so I use the glitter as well. So all of this 
could be yours. All of the details will be in the description box below. Make sure to check that out. Follow me and Michaela. Thank you to all of our brand partners at Ipsy and for all the products in this video. Um, this was a blast and we love you guys. Be the light in the world because we definitely need more of it. And I will see you guys next time.